welcome to the Vale for FA Trophy Football. It's the quarter-finals, two games away from Wembley as Wheelstone holds fellow National Leaguers Solihull Moors here at the Vale. David Noble's Wheelstone have uh, turned around their form over the last week with an impressive win at York, a uh, crucial win at York last Saturday. Uh, and then we're moments away from picking up another win on the road at South End United on Tuesday, but a late goal uh, put paid to that. The Stones picked up a very useful point. The visitors are flying high in the National League, sat fourth in the table at the moment, uh, have eyes on on promotion and a, a place at Wembley, knowing that the, uh, the league title is well out of their grasp. But it could be an exciting finish in the season for the Moors. Benton's got a bit of room down this right hand side and he's been found. That's a very very good ball from Maycock. Randall Smith comes across. And goes the ball. The Wilson slightly ponderous in the field there. Cook and Bowen slightly left it to each other. Bowen slightly overplayed here. It goes back to ba uh, Mason Barrett. He goes long. And that's not a great clearance. And Manny Duku could be in here. He could be in. And there's Max Kretschmar with the goal gaping. And he scores! Max Kretschmar gives Willstone the lead. Capitalising on a mistake from Kelly in the Solihull goal. A goal out of absolutely nothing. But Max Kretschmar has given Willstone the lead here. 15 minutes gone at the Vale. It's Willstone 1. Solihull Moors 0. Finds Newton and he's put it into Benton. He's got a bit of space down this right hand side. He goes in early. That's a great ball in. Oh, that's a really good chance from Matty Warburton. I think it's come off his heel slightly, but it's the first time Solihull have really carved Wilson apart. Maycock goes across to Devcock's corner. Put it right down Dewhurst's throat. It goes deep. There is Beck. Oh, that's a good chance. It's a really good chance. You know the danger. It's another let off for the Stones. Oh, and Alex Dyer lets the ball run away. And Warburton's got space to go out. Charlie Barker comes across. It goes out to Sparrow. Who recycles back to Benton. He's going to put one in. Searching for, for Beck. Put in, there's Maycock. Oh, there's a few few legs dangled there. He's worried about a penalty, but Solihull have it again. And Sparrow picks it up on this right-hand side. He's going to drive it. He finds Maycock on the right-hand side. And that's the leveller. I think Marcus Dewhurst was trying to telegraph across a pull pullback, and I don't know whether Maycock has sliced that, but he's absolutely sold. Marcus Dewhurst there. And that's a really, really disappointing leveller. But Solihull, it's been coming to be fair. They've had a couple of good chances. And it's Callum Maycock picking up the run of uh, off the pass of Joe Sparrow, who's drawn the Moors level. It's Wheelstone one, Solihull Moors one. And it's Sparrow who picks up. Dyer gets a toe, but oh, it's a good block. Mundell Smith's got space to run. He's got Alaraka out wide. It's the first time Taron's got a chance to run. Looks to square up Maycock. What's Alaraki going to do? Cuts in field. Gets a lucky ricochet. He gets a strike off. Oh, takes a deflection and runs out. And it's Wilstone who have a corner now on this left-hand side. First chance that Taran Alaraki has really had a bit of chance to run at the uh, at John Benson, the fullback. Joe Newton looking for uh, Jack Stevens and Mason Barrett slightly around, caught the wrong side of the ball, and it drops out to Joe Sparrow. He's got a bit of space. Maycock steps into the box, but he's got onto his left-hand side. That's a good save, to a terrific double save from Marcus Dewhurst. It was Warburton who stepped in on his left-hand side. Will stand it to step in here as Charlie Barker brings the ball into the solid hole half. Slightly runs into trouble there, and he's a little bit lucky, but Kretschmar does well. Finds the run of Manny Duku, who can't get there, and it's taken off his toes, presented from a corner by by Whitmore and it goes goes forwards looking for, for Beck but Stones do well. Good screen there from Alex Dyer. It's a 
little bit late on Alarak here. That's a good ball. Bar Bowen finds Kretschmar, who steps inside. And Kretschmar's going to hit one. Oh. PD. Don't like that. The angles just past the, the far post there. Kelly kind of stood rooted, perhaps rooted to the spot. But uh, Kretschmar's curling effort just dropped far, past the far post. Can Bowen find the key here for Willstone? Free kicker, a couple of yards outside the box on this left-hand side. Right by the valve. Referee blows his whistle as Bowen steps up. Oh, it's a cracking effort. A yard or so over the bar. I think Kelly probably had it covered. Stones bring it down the left here with Max Kretschmar. He's got a bit of space. Cuts inside well. Some recycle as well to Alex Dyer. Rio Griffiths does well. First time he's found a bit of the ball. And that's a good ball into Manny Duku. Gets a shot away that's pushed wide at the near post by, by Kelly in the in the solid hole goal. Good bit of play from Willstone. First signs of a bit of a spark there from Rio Griffiths and a good ball into Manny Duku. He couldn't quite get enough purchase on the shot. There it goes long. Recycled though, hands to Mundlesmith who looks for an angle on his left. Stands it up to the back post towards Adarqua who heads back in and it comes out to Mason Barrett, who gets a strike away, and it's off. Oh, fumbled away. Griffiths dips it back in, and it's shanked away. The lovely little interchange. The Tyree Shade now looks to bring it forwards. He skips away from Manny Duku and Mason Barrett. It's a little bit lazy by Barrett. Eat, eat, and Shade's going to go wide, and he's got Sparrow in space. It comes out to Warburton. That's a brilliant save by Marcus Drewhurst. Stone starting to look a little bit leggy. Into the feet of Sparrow. He turns away from Barrett and he's got a sight of goal and Sparrow strikes. Oh my goodness. Whizzes past that near post. And that will be that. So penalties it is for a place in the FA Trophy semi-final. It's going to be Matty Warburton who's going to step up first against Marcus Dewhurst. Dewhurst, of course, famously saved the penalty from Harry Pritchard at Barnet. What can he do here? Up he steps. Oh, he went the right way. Kretschmar against Hayes. Nice saved. Diving to his right. He steps up against Dewhurst. It's a great penalty. Low and hard into the far corner. Got a score. Upset Sam Bowen. Great pen. Really good pen. Pressure pen. Keeps Wheelstone in it. Sorry, Sparrow against Drew Hurst. Yeah, oh! What happened there? It's a goal, I think. Yeah, it's a goal. Hit the, hit the stanchion. Henry against Kelly. Cracking penalty from Henry. That's how you take one. So the experienced left foot of Mark Beck against Marcus Dewhurst. Great penalty. Darkwa up against Kelly. Oh, he scored. Kelly went the right way. A bit like Dewhurst's first one, pushed it onto the post, but it, in it goes. So it's Clark going to step up. And Dewhurst saves! Massive save! Stones are alive still. Upsets Duku against Kelly to keep Wills in and send us a sudden death. Oh, he's at the bar. And Stones are out. Oh. A bitterly disappointed end for Wheelstone. 
They're dumped out of the FA Trophy in the quarterfinals on penalties. Nali Duku's penalty had to score. And he hit it well enough, but he's hit the crossbar. And Stones will be left to, to rue, perhaps not making the most of having the ascendancy in the second half. Thank <laughs> you.